guys welcome back I'm back uh, I was absent from YouTube for a while with my tutorials because I was busy with school stuff and other stuff that I had to deal with but I'm back finally hopefully I'll get a few tutorials out before I take my trip to Russia which is coming up soon so um, today I want to continue the learning Java with BlueJ series and uh, today we have a lot of material to cover so let's get right to it uh, because I don't want to waste any time to have to rush at the end so I have here is my BlueJ folder and my BlueJ uh, program and here is oops here is I my BlueJ home window and as you see I have one file which is main which is going to be the class I'm going to be working with and uh, today what we're going to do is a simple program, write a simple program that asks um, the user for his test score uh, say on a math final or does, doesn't matter and it will output the grade that the user um, has received so it will convert a numerical score into a letter grade um, so it's well, we're going to cover a few, quite a few concepts here, so I might have to break this into two parts. But um, first, we'll start with um, the concept of a double, because we're going to be using that to deal with the score and converting stuff. Um, so we we could use integers just as well, and it wouldn't uh, pose a problem. But just to introduce you to the concept of a double, I'm going to use a double here. So a double is a double precision floating point number and what that means is that there can be an integer part and there can be a decimal part that follows it so a double is composed basically of two parts an integer and a decimal that goes along with it and it's used for more precise mathematics um, as well as a float which is just a double but with less precision so you don't have to worry about the exact details of that but I'm just going to declare double um, test score and we'll set it to zero right so now we want to ask the user uh, what they received on their test so we could deal with that so first we're gonna do um, a system out dot print line, uh, line. Um, one second so just please enter your score I'm sorry that I can't type that fast because I have a microphone that I have to hold hold up so it's not not as easy for me to type so the, you you ask the user please enter your score now we have to have some way of getting the input from the user uh, so what we're going to use is a class called scanner and it comes with all java implementations it's in java.util uh, and I, I've talked about classes a little bit but we'll just use this and we'll uh, I'll explain classes in a later tutorial so to use this class called scanner we have to first import it from the Java library otherwise the Java compiler won't know what we're what we're doing with it or what it is so at the top here we're gonna write import Java dot util dot scanner with a capital S it, it Java is case sensitive so if you put this as a lowercase s it will not find it so now we imported the file and now we can use the scanner class so now what we want to do is create a new instance of the scanner class because what we imported is just the the framework uh, that describes how the scanner class works but to actually use it we need to create an instance of the scanner class so I'm gonna write here scanner um, and just call it input uh, and say equals new scanner so that will tell Java to create a new a new scanner and put it into the input variable so now we can use input as a scanner right so 
after we do that we can now use uh, methods of input. Methods are just functions that you can call in other classes and when you call a function it does a specific job. So the, the scanner class has a function called nextInt. Um, oops. And what that's going to do is it's going to read um, read the input of the user and parse it into an integer. So it's going to interpret it as an integer. And um, if if I just do this, then it will uh, th basically throw away what it reads. So I want to say test score is equal to input dot next int. Now notice that I'm asking for an integer and then putting it into a double. That is perfectly okay because uh, an integer is has less precision than a double. So converting from a an integer to a double is not losing any precision. Uh, if I was convert to from a double to an integer, it might throw an exception or it might uh, throw me a warning because I could lose the decimal uh, place after uh, all the figures after the decimal place. So uh, now I put this input into the test score that we have. And now I want to um, figure out what the grade of the person is. So what I'm going to do is use an if statement. An if statement um, it allows me to have a very variability in my program depending on a certain val variable being a certain way or basically depending on certain conditions I can make my program do different things. So all I'm going to do is say if uh, test score is less than 65 um, I am going to I'm going to write you have received a D because if test score is less than 65 it's it's a D right and now I'm just gonna copy this and use an else if so if not if test score is not less than 65 but it's less than uh, 75 or let's say yeah 75 we'll just say C All right and if we do this again uh, so now we have Uh, else if test score is less than 85 we'll give them a B and then less than a hundred but greater than 85 because all of these else ifs work um, on top of each other so if the test score is less than 65 it will not check for test score being less than a hundred so it will automatically give you a D so uh, now it it's a very simple system and it uh, will work uh, hopefully so let's check it out because we seem to be running out of time So I'm just gonna compile this uh, oh see when when you uh, initiate a new scanner class you have to tell uh, it where to take the input in and in this case we're doing it from the system in stream so we're just gonna put that in there and now all I want to do is open up my main class, run the main argument, no arguments, and then here I have please enter your score. And I'm going to enter uh, 76. And I have received a B because it's less than 85 but bigger than 75, so it gives me a B. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope that you learned something. And uh, I'm going to come back at you next time with another, hopefully another, C++ tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um, I'm sorry what I meant was a Java tutorial. My bad. I'm so used to the C++ tutorial stuff. Thank you. See you next time.